Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Live Los Angeles from Los Angeles, California. I'm Brian Tewitt of Anita and the Man. Mornings of Communication through MC Ministries of Part 3 of our Thanksgiving series of Remembrance of Thanksgiving. And we ask those who are just starting out to traveling, speaking to us, listening to us over their iPhones and their tablets and laptops, just to be careful driving. Take your time. Plenty of turkey ahead of you. So. Jesus loves you in his name and for his name and in the name of Jesus. And again, a uh, gracious hello from Los Angeles, California, as we begin Thanksgiving Eve preparation for the festive day with families, friends, and loved ones as we are bringing you this message to you live. And we're going to be speaking as a foundation scriptures will be from Psalms chapter 28, Psalm chapter 28, I will be finishing up this three-part message of the importance of having the thanksgiving up to God, the remembrance of what God gave you through His Son and what He is still giving you going forward with the power of faith and the now, which backs up our faith with works. So we commend our thoughts to you, O Lord, as we command our works and we say unto you, Lord, Take us, love us for yours. Strengthen us, O Lord, in your way, not our way. Strengthen us, O Lord, and guide us to the prosperity of your loving truth. For the master's name of Jesus. Let's go before the throne of God and pray. I'm not going to clean sheet a notebook paper because, as always, we'll be doing some top dancing through the scriptures. Dear Jesus, we love you. We'll lay our hearts before you. You are the reason why we live from the secrets of our heart. We thank you for the loving truth. We thank you for your time. We thank you for your embrace. The embrace as we celebrate this Thanksgiving holiday, this remembrance of you, how the changes of your love come to us in each and every day, and the guidance of the absolute truth, for the power, for the love. For in Jesus' precious name, amen. And again, I'm Brian Tune on behalf of my anointed, beautiful wife, Anita Hewitt. We wish all of you a very safe and Blessed Thanksgiving and lots of turkey and football, the American way. And uh, we share of this loving guidance in Jesus' precious name. So with our fingers still in Psalms 28, let's go to 28 and let's go to verse 7. The Lord is my strength and shield. I trust him with all my heart. He helps me. My heart is filled with joy. I burst out in songs of thanksgiving. How do you bring into remembrance of someone that you never met or thank someone that you never met? Well, you can meet the one called Jesus, the King. By turning your life over to the Lord, by focusing on your reality of your redemption with God, by understanding peace is a gift from God. We can have all the formality discussions of ceasefires and, and this and that, but it, without backing peace up with prayer, it is nothing but a formality. And formalities are pretty much the rituals of the ways of man. And we come to understand the discovering of a new truth that was deep inside your thoughts, your mind, your brains, your life, that God wants you to discover through the power of choices. Over this one choice is predestined. Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Matthew 6.13 It's yours for the taking. It's yours for the knowledge to correct and be the change makers that God wants you to have. Verse 23. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23. Jesus with his disciples. For this is what the Lord himself said, and I pass it on to you just as I received it. On the night he was betrayed, the Lord Jesus took a loaf of bread when he had given thanks he broke and said, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup of wine after supper, saying, 
This cup is a new covenant between God and you. Sealed by the shedding of, the, of my blood. Do this in remembrance of me as often as you drink it. We come in addressing not problems but solutions. By bringing of the bread, the breaking of the bread, bread of the wine. The disciples knew Jesus was giving new meaning to the Passover meal. And we come in the utmost humility that the power of Christ goes on and on forever. When Jesus was tempted in the wilderness, he, he just didn't give defensive attacks. He quoted the, the last phrase of the verse to resist the devil. Jesus hadn't eaten in 40 days and he was hungry, yet he knew why he, we either don't know or fail to remember that God will supply all of our needs, including food. So one thing to remember is God's provision. As we give our thanks, as we move into that new reality called redemption, as we focus in our needs, but we have left our needs to the need to having gold address these needs. You realize that at one time of your life that your needs had needs, but they are no longer there. You were once hungry, lost, did not have a home, but God provided for you. And with the sudden attacks that we have on our lives and our lands and our homes, we can defeat our enemy by the power of forgiveness. We can defeat the enemy by the by the rings of royalty. You hear me speak pretty much every message: joy, hope, faith, and love. These rings are the giftings of God. These rings are the powerful instruments that should be working all the time. The nine cylinders found in Galatians chapter five, twenty-two and twenty-three, working in the unity of the Holy Spirit. A couple of verses above that are not the cylinders you want working with you at all. But in this time. God's endless realm of his love, the guidance of the absolute truth comes to the being. Psalms 50 verse 14. Make thankfulness your sacrifice to God and keep the vows you made to the Most High. Psalm 69 verse 30. Then I will praise God's name in singing and I will honor him with thanksgiving. Honor him with th thanksgiving. Isaiah chapter 51, verse 3. The Lord will comfort Israel again and have pity on her ruins. Her desert will blossom like Eden. Her barren wilderness like the garden of, of the Lord. Joy and gladness will be found, found there. Songs of thanks, thanksgiving will fill the air. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 19. There will be joint songs of thanksgiving, and I will multiply my people and not diminish them, and I will honor them and not despise them. For the beautiful truth of what one goes through, what one adheres to from the power and the blessings of God is Jeremiah 33, verse 11, the sounds of joy and laughter, the joyful voices of bridegrooms <clears throat> and brides <clears throat> will be heard again along with the joyous songs of people bringing thanksgiving offerings to the Lord. They will sing, Give thanks to the Lord of, of heaven's ar armies, for the Lord is good. His faithful love endures forever, for I will restore the prosperity of this land to what it was in the past, yes. says the Lord. The Lord brings to the mountaintop you, to strengthen you, to guide you, to bring you the loving prosperity and the forgiveness that we live to others, and the power that we have, and the power of his might. <clears throat> he blesses and guides us to the lands and to all of the embraces. But with seeing <clears throat> what is going on in the world, you and I together, with our families, loved ones, and teens, and all kinds of people. Let's look at where we are today compared to just a year ago. 
my wife and I survived a great deal this past year from a series of health issues to tribulations to joy to watch to not just launching one new network but <clears throat> six new networks worldwide by spreading the truth of the Lord Jesus Christ and by understanding that those that touch not thine anointed spirit that profits no harm those who did come against us you have been forgiven by us those who have tried to kill me you have been forgiven by me and I will love you and don't have anything to do with you but I will drive you insane by forgiving and loving you in Jesus name you cannot stand toe to toe with me with all your weapons of pathetic lifestyles when I have God that I my work for in Jesus name when we speak of where we're coming from, the most important thing is where God is leading you to. Jesus has doesn't bring up your sins of your past, and if you, this does come up in conversation, it's not God that's bringing it up; it's Satan. We work in the holy aspirations of the truth. We speak of the truth. We cannot challenge a minister to go before a pulpit when he has a past. Well, guess what? I have a colorful past, too. We all have. But if we are to stop God's word, then if you are not focusing on your redemption, which is the now of faith, then where are you? Where are you? You are dividing the church if you do that. And we come into God's love. We come into just focusing on not dividing the church but embracing God's love is true and focusing on that we only worship God we're not going to have any day of mandatory worship by worshiping, worshiping a false God the Antichrist not going to happen if it does happen then you won't find Anise and I lining up for that church service but we speak to embrace God. To embrace God because God has given you from you were you had a testimony, now you have a victory testimony as you come into the blessings of God. You were brought into the realms of a new discovery of yourself in the aspects of the pros prosperity of your new life. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 15 and all this is for your benefit and as God's grace reaches more and more people there will be great thanksgiving and God will receive more and more glory God gets the glory not the ways men not me not, not Anita not any journalist stateside west side east side all over the world we come in to give God the glory now we must come into that point of contact with God. We realize that perhaps there is an unsaved individual or peoples that have been watching Anita and myself, Brian Hewitt, give these services almost a whole year and has not saved. That's, we can't give a, a Satan any room to destroy you. It's just three tricks in his trick bag to control your thoughts, ideas, and suggestions. So, let's all lift up our remembrance and Thanksgiving on this Thanksgiving Eve and knowing that every day is Thanksgiving. Knowing that every day we raise the praise or lift up our prayers, repentance, and forgiveness to God. Because if God can forgive man, man must learn to forgive man. And we sing of the truth. Because God has married to the backslider, and I don't know if you know that, but guess what? That's all of us. You and I. Everybody. Every world leader who's got an ego, ego or not an ego, it's you and I. All of us. If you're in a backsliding condition, if you are need recommitted, if you're caught with your past on as a bishop or a pastor, this is for you to be very recommitted with your Lord. To throw your addictions away with the confidence of faith that God is coming to you now. He's not going to wait till after the Laker game or the next game. 
to see if there is an actual NHL season, then he's going to do this now for you. Now, for you. In Jesus' precious name. Romans 10, 13 is singing out for you. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever, yeah, baby, shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever is you, you were, when you were caught up in your sin, you are a whatsoever. But it's whoever, but now you are a whosoever. Shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Repeat this after me, please. Dear God, first brethren, let's come forward in the name of Jesus. Those who don't know Christ, take it, love it. It's yours. Repeat this, please. Dear God, I admit I am a sinner, and I need your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ died in my place, paying the penalty for my sins. I am willing right now to turn from my sin and accept Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. I commit myself to you and ask you to send the Holy Spirit into my life to take me, to make me the kind of person you have always wanted me to be. Thank you, Father, for loving me. Thank you, Father, for bringing me forward. I swear, that's my wife. Praise your name in the background. I am lifting your name up before the throne of God. Most important, the angels of heaven are singing your name before the throne of God. Doesn't get any better than that to have God's very own angels singing your name before the throne of God. You're moving at one step, one prayer, one love, one embrace at a time. The power comes from waiting on the Lord. Not in, I need this now or else. Well, you're going to get the or else, but God just going to say, oh, I'm sick of my time. But we move and we grow. And your first offering is the offering, <clears throat> offering of obedience. To get yourself into a faith-based, spirit-led church, midweek Bible study, Sunday, services of the saints, and fellowship, fellowship, fellowship. In Jesus' precious name. You will also, I beg of you, to know that we cannot learn the Bible by playing one-on-one -on -one with ourselves. Receive those who wish to teach you the Bible, the bishops, pastors, the teachers, the evangelists, the prophets, all. God's sending his people to you. Just lift up your, your offering of obedience, get out of your house, stop living as a hermit, and surround yourself with iron sharpening irons. And go with God's flow, not the ways of man's flow. With this, now, we do definitely want to get to know you, and we want to know you to get to know us at BrianTewitt.com. BrianTewitt.com, for those who don't know, our full name, <coughs> ministerial church name is Morningstar Communication Network, <coughs> excuse me, MCN Ministries. We are your 501c3 certified church in the United States, based in Los Angeles, California. <coughs> we come to you worldwide, over 200 countries confirmed. Via yeah, Ustream, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, our network, Jcast Live, and <clears throat> through our Watch Us Live link at BrianTewitt.com. <clears throat> With you becoming a part a partner to our ministry, you can easily embrace and join our our missions team, our evangelical team, our translation team, our broadcast team, and to grow and spread the distribution of, of our services through the power of CDs, the magic merchandising, everything that God leads you to be within our ranks. Now, we're asking you, the sower, to sow the financial seed into our ministry. Uh, with this, Jesus himself will show you the vision through John chapter 4, verse 35. Your harvest is now. You don't have to wait four months from now. Your fields are right. Wait. Your harvest is ready for the picking. As you pick your harvest, God's going to prune you with all the responsibilities you have to, to spend these provisions. From this, Jesus brings you to the vision, to the manifestation. To the living word of God is always praying and revealing the manifestation of God's glory. And then Malachi chapter 3 opens up above you, pours some windows of blessings upon you. Yeah. That you have no room in your storehouse, plant them to keep them or save them. In Jesus' yeah. precious name. Precious, precious name. Guide us to his embrace. 
Lord. God is for you. Embrace. God is for you. Love. Now, with the guidance of God's love, there are two journeys you can take to send us your tithes and offerings. One is come to BrianTrude.com. Go to the left corner of our website, and you'll see the, the contact link there. You see our address. Make your checks payable to Morningstar Communications Network, MCM Ministries. And you'll you'll get a receipt after the first of the year to, to for your tax purposes as well. The uh, donation link will come right to us as well. You get a, a receipt after the first of the year. With your joy and your love, we thank you for your prayers and support ahead of time. Much joy and love coming to you on this day. 2012 is yet over. Yes, this can still be the greatest year of your life. But with the faith of Jesus Christ guiding you and showing you all of his love, all of his truth, and for you to join us on our traveling ministry team throughout the world in 2013. Now, on a personal note, I do want to thank the entire world that we reach and preach into. That as your love and support came in the attention of my wife Anita as she survived first her arm surgery then a stroke I could not thank the Lord enough of the amount of love that came in your, from your direction to to her I thank you as her husband I thank you as your pastor I thank you as Brother Brian Hewitt and we cannot Thank you enough as you move forward in the coming new year. This morning, wherever you are, this night brings you the power of change in his love to the guidance of the sweet embrace of this time. Colossians chapter 2, verse 7. Let your roots grow down into him. Let your lives be built on him. Then your faith will grow strong in the truth you are taught, and you will overflow with thankfulness. Colossians chapter 4, verse 2. Devote yourselves to prayer with an alert mind and thankful heart. So let us be alert with our minds and a thankful heart. Yes. Eat this, drink this. For remembrance of you, O Lord. In Jesus' precious name. Let's go before the throne of God and pray. Dear Jesus, we love you. We'll lay our hearts before you are the reason why we live from the secrets of our heart. We thank you for the loving truth of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for the moment of the expressions every time. The endless rhyme of your love guidance to the deep embrace of this time of change, a time of need throughout the world. Send a healing throughout all the world. We lift up Jerusalem. Those that pray for her shall, shall prosper. Yes. We thank you for the loving embrace of the Lord Jesus Christ guiding you to this time, guiding you to this moment, guiding you to the embrace of of this love. For in the master's name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we love you. Brethren, this is, we cannot thank you enough for joining us tonight. On behalf of Anita Hewitt and myself, Brian Truth, the man, we thank you for your time until next time. News to you up to date with all of our news and information of exciting crusades coming to your part of the world at BrianTruitt.com, BrianTruitt.com. Join us on Twitter to keep up to date as well. Our Twitter handle is at Bryant Hewitt. And come visit our online store and our prayer request link again at BrianHewitt.com. We walk by faith and not by sight. Have a safe Thanksgiving. Take your time driving. Lift up all in prayer and unity. The Holy Spirit be one mind and one judgment of Christ. We thank you. Au revoir. Adios. Good day.